dear learners good morning to all i am s harmugu swami from department of commerce computer applications inr janakiamal college sivagasi now let us learn about osi reference model osi stands for open systems interconnection it has been developed by iso that is international organization for standardization in the year 1984 it is a seven layer architecture with each layer having specific functionality to perform all these seven layers work collaboratively to transmit the data from one person to another across the globe these are the seven layers named as first one physical layer second one data link layer third one network layer fourth one transport layer fifth one session layer sixth one presentation layer and last the seventh layer is application layer the first one is physical layer it is responsible for the actual physical connection between the devices the physical layer contains the information in the form of bits it is responsible for transmitting individual bits from one node to one node to the next when receiving data this layer will get the signal received and convert it into zeros and ones and send them to the data link layer which will put the frame back together the second one is data link layer the data link layer is responsible for the node to node delivery of the message the main function of this layer is to make sure data transfer is error free from one node to another over the physical layer when a packet arrives in a network it is the responsibility of the data link layer to transmit it to the host using its mac address data link layer is divided into two sub layers the first one is logical link control the second one is media access control network layer the network layer works for the transmission of data from one host to the other located in different networks it also takes care of packet routing that is selection of the shortest path to transmit the packet from the number of routers available the sender and receiver's ip addresses are placed in the header by the network layer transport layer the transport layer provides services to the application layer and it takes services from the network layer the data in the transport layer is referred to as segments it is responsible for the end to end delivery of the complete message the transport layer also provides the acknowledgement of the successful data transmission and retransmits the data if an error is found ne next one is session layer this layer is responsible for the establishment of connection maintenance of sessions authentication and also ensures security the functions of the session layer are session establishment maintenance and termination next one is synchronization and the last one is dialog controller next one is presentation layer the data from the application layer is extracted here and manipulated as per the required format to transmit over the network the functions of the presentation layer are translation for example ascii to E B C D I C, encryption and decryption, compression, application layer. Application layer is implemented by the network applications. These applications produce the data which has to be transferred over the network. This layer also serves as a window for the 
application services to access the network and for displaying the received information to the user for example browsers and skype messenger thank you learners